Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back. Hopefully, everybody enjoyed their weekend. Nice to be back from Vegas. Had a long, uh, long week there. Uh, a lot of we ran into some bunch of events there. Everything worked out pretty well. But I'm good to be back. Kind of, kind of hate kind of going away because it always takes away from making money in the market. But you know what's great about what we did? Um, you can always be stress free when you're day trading. You don't have to worry about it. You know, you can come back with a clear head. And I come back to all you great people. I'm like, hey, what did I miss? Am I am I late? Am I in? Because that's what we train you here for, and that was great. But um, so it's nice to be back. And, uh, you know, I guess it's the time of the season. We got Halloween was just over. Now we have Thanksgiving is going to be coming up. Then we got the Christmas holidays coming up. So this is where things are going to start getting very volatile going up until maybe a week before Christmas. So we got a couple of slow days coming up. Uh, you got Thanksgiving that's coming up. So we got, you know, you got about another good, we got about, got about a good two weeks coming up. All right. But, um, but before we do that, everyone, we got a lot of events, upcoming events going on. First of all, you know you got Traders Talk every Tuesday, but we got a really big event that's going to come up with TradeStation and Bookmap. You know, I kind of worked the deal with them, introduced TradeStation to Bookmap, and you know, and they fell in love with the product. And we all know, listen, just this morning, okay. Early bird gets the money. Let's go back and look at our level four here. Do I need? Do you need to see any more than this? The stock had major buyers hovering around thirty-four dollars a share, and look where it is now. If you waited and you waited, even if you paid thirty-five. Guess what? It went up to thirty-nine. You killed it. You probably should be done by today. And um, hold on, let me share my screen. Got the wrong one up there. There you go. So you can see it right here. A lot of big orders out here buying, and boom, the thing finally, finally took off. And uh, that was a really nice move for a nice about four, three, four bucks. Um, you should at least made a dollar on it for crying out loud, at least at the minimum. All right. But um, but listen, look what happened to the stock down 53 percent. Unbelievable. One thing I really want to I want to focus on is on a lot of the. Uh, a lot of short squeezes is obviously you could tell by one just by looking at the run up. But before we start getting into the watch list and talk about what happened last week and so on, first of all, let's just take a, a moment to thank what today is. Today is a very one of my favorite holidays. Uh, it's a very important day, important day. Let's give a, a big round of applause to all the veterans because it is Veterans Day. So let's just say. Thank you all for the veterans for all that you've done. I know we have a lot of students here that are veterans themselves. Thank you very much, vets, for your support and everything else. And um, which leads us to one bad thing. Kids are off from school today. So what does that mean? We might have a little bit of a slow market again. We all know long weekend, Veterans Day, you know, uh, just like Memorial Day. We always want to remember these days, but great, great day. Uh, but. It's going to affect the market. You can see markets down a little bit. I mean, down about 100 and 116 points right now. But there are a couple of stocks on the moon. But remember, it is a Monday and a holiday. We got a double whammy. But thank you, Vets, for, for everything that you've done for us. We really appreciate it, keeping our country safe. Uh, now, regarding about what happened last week and before we go through the watch list, I know there's been a lot of big movers. First of all, you see this one right here, the NXTC. This is what your classic short squeeze is. Look at the stock. Went from 25 all the way to 120. How much did – Everyone kill it on this trade. We all know it. But once again, where's it going? 200, 300? No, it went right back down to 38, 34 dollars. So that's why being a good day trader, you got to be very. We're always taking profits because, like, you know, I was talking to someone last week. Uh, I mean, someone in Vegas saying, "Like, Fausto, yeah, remember you guys were talking about that? The NXTC. You know, uh, where do you think it's going?" I'm like, I have no idea. I, I'm out of it. They're like, "Why would you sell it? The thing's already up another 20 points." I'm like. Let me explain something, dude. We really That's not how you day trade, okay? We found these winners. We get them every day. This is what it's all about. And you know what? How many – because you just see the writing on the wall. Now, there's a couple other ones also that got crushed too, um, which we're going to talk about them also. But that one was pretty good. But let's go through the watch list and go over a couple of stocks. Uh, first of all, there was a great short last week in the PRTY. All right, for some of you that were not here, missed it. Shockingly, it was on a short list. So you could see a stock from $6 down to a dollar. You had a little bit of a comeback on fr on Friday on that stock, but that was a pretty good stock that a lot of you guys did really well. Uh, and it was on the short list. And it did start a bounce on a Friday, which you could probably keep an eye on it this morning. You know, listen, a lot of people, 
not doing too well with that stock right now. You know what I mean? And if their brokers are good salesmen, they're probably calling them up and says, hey, if you love that six, you'd be drooling at two, average down. You don't have a choice. And, you know, remember how stocks go up and down, supply and demand. All right. What else do we had? Uh, GPS, right? And that's not the actual uh, thing on your car. That's Gap. Gap also took a nice little hit, a little bit more of a brand name stock uh, regarding about earnings. But Gap also, you know, Kind of had a little bit of movement there, something that was pretty good. One stock that got destroyed, which was ANAB. Holy crap. This one also, talking about getting crushed. This was not a short squeeze, by the way. Short squeezes are like the NXTC, where we see them go from 25 to 100. This is not a short squeeze. This is actually was bad news on this stock right here. I think it was because of face... Uh, a phase uh, one of the phase trials was the news on if I'm if I'm correctly and we all know what happens when a company doesn't meet their phase trials they don't come back it's only ones that really never come back all right uh, so that one also and then uh, the CLVS we had right CLVS that was another one that had a nice little runner right there you can see one from four to five four eighty it's up a little bit already you know kind of piggybacking a little bit you know I'll keep a close eye on it this one's not bad uh, do I have it on my list no I'm gonna add it back on my list so uh, listen I have a pretty decent list this morning for a Monday I thought it was gonna be a little worse than what it's gonna be due to the holidays but we're gonna keep an eye on it uh, Josh just put it in there. He says uh, D-A-R-Y at pre-market highs. All right. So what do we got as short squeezes? So anyway, the NXTC, I'm telling you right now, you have to be minimum, minimum a level four trader to trade NXTC. Okay. If you're not a level four trader do or higher, do not trade that stock. Now, what does level four mean? That means that you, you probably average about $1,000 a day. OK, here in the trading room, if you're not that stay away and the stock will run circles around you. Can, if you're a beginner, could you still trade it? Yeah, you could probably trade 100 shares. Just I'm just telling you right now, this is going to be strict, very volatile stock. OK, another one that was a pretty good short squeeze. I want to keep an eye on is the AGRX. You could see this thing was literally like everywhere. You could see one from a buck 20 down to 50 cents up to 280. Now it's back to 180. So this to me is like a, another big short squeeze, but it's got good volume. It's got good spread. It's got good tier sizes. So you can trade the stock. It's not terrible. NXET, another one I want to keep an eye on right there. That one is also uh, was a big short squeeze, went from 260 to $7. And how do I know that? Because look at it. Anything that goes up that big and trends down this fast, that's why I, that's why I kind of look at it, okay? So it's not like it's holding there very long. Another stock, want to keep a uh, keep a close eye on it too. All right, now regarding about what's moving also this morning, you know what I like that was pretty a pretty nice looking stock. Did you guys see the TEVA? This stock's been moving up pretty nicely. Been a little bit more of a swing trade though. It's not more of a day trade, but she had a really nice move on Friday, and um, she's kind of picking back the momentum right now. It's got a good spread, got decent volume. Look at the level three over there on the right. You know, that one's pretty good. I want to throw out in the watch list. Uh, I think everyone can afford to trade that. A little cheap one right here, getting a little bit crushed, the CRR. Now, this one, the reason why I like about this one is it's go, it's coming to support levels right around here around a buck. So if it holds here, you know, this could be a pretty decent stock to trade. Remember, why are we all here? One person um, at the event that I was at at the in Las Vegas at the, tra at, uh, the trading event I was at, he says, Fausto, I noticed you trade a lot of inexpensive stocks. I'm like, of course I do. Why wouldn't I? Less risk, more reward. Why else do we trade? To make money. So that one, um, there's your there's your reason for it. Now, how do we recognize a buyout? That's a buyout. <laughs> CARB, so please don't get caught up in that one, okay? I don't know what the actual buyout number is, but when you see a little flat line uh, chart like that, it's a buyout. DARE, which everyone is also talking about it. This one, another nice little cheap little stock, gapped up pretty nicely, testing higher highs, got great volume. Look, 16,000 share buyers, 1,800, 4,000, 20,000 share seller there at a 119, which we're about you know, about 12 cents away from that. But it's got great orders out there, great volume on the level four. What else do we have? Got a couple of more here. TRNX I threw on that list too. By the way, for all of you people that are new here, I'm going to put that list uh, in the trading room. This one also, great move on Friday, kind of held there, up 9%. Good volume. Some of you remember we trade this back in August. It went from $2 to 450 in two days. Great volume. Great look. 260,000 shares already traded. It's not up a lot. 
nine percent, which is what I kind of like. LNCN is another one that I found. I spelt it wrong. LPCN. There we go. All right, another one that's getting crushed down almost eighty percent. Is this a pharmaceutical stock? I probably think it. It might be. Uh, not doing too good for LPC. Listen, you want to hold overnight positions, knock yourself out. And that's pretty much it. I think I, that's all of them. So we got a pretty decent list here for a Monday. But remember, it is a holiday. It is Veterans Day. By the way, by the way, guys, thank you for all your service. And um, but just be very, be very, very careful. If you got, if, if hopefully everyone was smart this morning. I know some of you advanced traders been here, but hopefully you got jumped on that NXTC trade and uh, like some of us did this morning. And if you missed it, don't worry about it. Listen, tomorrow's another day. Just remember, focus on your day's pay, make your day's pay, and that's it. All right, guys, anything else I'm missing? Brian says, uh, what about the FOMX trade? You know, when you look at the stock right here, it's down 16%. Looks like a short squeeze to me. I would pass on it. You know, I don't know if you could short a stock. Uh, remember, short stock's going to be five dollars for five days to be shortable. You could see if it's on your short list, but I would probably stay away from it. I think it's a. Uh, I'm not really crazy about. It. We got a big list already. I mean, you can't remember. You can't trade them all. You only could trade one. All right. Anything else, everyone? All right. What do we got? We got about uh, less than 15 minutes before the market opens up. All right. So um, first of all, welcome all new cyber traders that are here. I know a lot of people starting their fresh here on Monday. So uh, we just tell you all just look, listen and learn. Do not buy anything we tell you in this room. Number one, we don't recommend we don't recommend stocks. It's illegal. I, I, I like to go home tonight with my kids and not get arrested. OK, so just gonna get, give a heads up on that. I know there's people out there, but that's why I've been around for 25 years and they're not. Um, just a matter of time, but uh, that was one other thing that came up this weekend. Someone told me, I'm like, okay, uh, you're in the wrong room. Anyway, um, just watch, look, listen, and learn, watch the traders are doing, see how we, how they get into it. And if you like it, uh, then talk to education advisor, we'll tell we'll teach you how, um, how you could do this for the rest of your life. Remember trading is a great job, but it's not for everyone. So that's why you basically here and trying it out. All right, guys, listen, good luck. Happy trading cyber traders. See you. Um, we'll see you back in the afternoon. So, so let's try to make an exciting one this open. Okay. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.